For those of you who missed this week's episode of the Shadow Spark Chronicles, here's what happened. Our group of misfits try to talk sense to Ishtob and have him willing, willingly go back to sleep, but negotiations turn sour. Bishop is done talking, knowing that the fate of the world relies on the, the pillars being put down he strikes. Ishtob is surprised at these actions at first, but quickly grows angry. A storm forms around the small island, Ishtob's anger in the form of lightning and heavy rains. A fearsome battle enrages and Ishtob gets the better of our group on multiple occasions. If it wasn't for the quick healing granted by Gwenton and True Silver, our travelers would surely perish, perished, and dooming the world to a disastrous fate. The tables finally turn and Ishtob starts to show some fatigue. Bishop takes the shard out of his bag and taunts Ishtob, trying to throw his guard off. As the storm rages on, the battle between them gets more violent. After what seemed like ages, the final blow is struck and Ishtob falls to his knees before Annex. Trying to catch his breath, Bishop takes the moment to shove the shard into Ishtob's forehead. Ishtob screams in pain and falls back into the ocean to slumber in its murky depths. As the group heads back to the Brindle Star, it is discussed that, they, that for them to succeed, they'll have to gather allies. They need the armies of Yargish and Governor's Dead. Please join us every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we continue with the ongoing adventures of Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we'll see you in the dungeon.